Well, back in about 1967, um, country joined the fish were going to play in Vancouver, British Columbia, which had its own little hippie scene going on up there, and uh, and um, on the plane ride up from the San Francisco Bay Area, the drummer Chicken told us, he said, uh, you know, I just figured out that uh, if you... Um, Take a banana peel and dry it out, scrape that white stuff off the inside and roll it up and smoke it, it gets you stoned. It's the same chemical composition as pot. You know? And we said, really? You know? Incredible. So uh, we landed in Vancouver and drove to the Kitsilano district to play the Kitsilano Theater, which we played before uh, in the hippie ghetto up there. And across the street from the Kitsilano Theater was a psychedelic shop. There were psychedelic shops all over the place. I mean, people looked much too young to remember anything like that. But I'm telling you, because I was there, I'm one of those old hippies. And anyway, we went over to the psychedelic shop, you know, because we knew they had a little kitchen in the back, you know. Then we went up in this corner this mom and pop grocery store and got ourselves a couple dozen bananas, you know. <laughs> the road crew was setting up the equipment at the Kitsilano Theater, and so uh, we told the people in the psychedelic shop who were friends of ours about the banana thing, and I said, yeah, okay, you know. Of course, at the time, we were living on um, peanut butter and banana sandwiches. That was about the only thing, and pot, that was uh, about the end. <laughs> only thing we lived on in those days, and we were just throwing the peelings away, you know. <laughs> so we thought, well, we're going to try this out. So uh, we ate the bananas and saved the peels, you know, put them in the oven at a very low temperature so it wouldn't destroy the THC, you know. <laughs> and uh, went over to Kitsilano's Theater across the street to see how the sound check was coming, and the stage crew was setting up, and, and you know, our roadies had set up our equipment. And stage crew at the theater said, Say, you see that quart jar over there in the back of the stage uh, full of water? He said, we just dissolved uh, about 100 tabs of LSD in that, in that water jar, and if you want any, just help yourself during the night, you know. So we went over, took a couple sips out of this water jar, you know, did our sound check, and went back across the street and see how the banana peelings were doing, but they were much too wet to smoke, you know, and roll up, so we just... Waited around, and it was to come to get us for our first set. We went back across the street and took a couple of hits off this water jar and played our first set. And when we went at the break, went back across the psychedelic shop, you know, back in the kitchen. Banana peels were all dried out, you know. Scraped all this white stuff off and started rolling them up, you know. Smoking away, smoked about a dozen banana joints, you know. <laughs> Looking at each other, thinking, wow. Well, Anything happening? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Getting high? I don't know. Maybe. I, I don't know. And uh, then the roadies come back and get us, you know, and they said, uh, time for the last set. So we went back across the street, took a couple more hits off this water jar, you know. <laughs> Played our last set and then ran across the street to the psychedelic shop, back in the kitchen and started rolling up these banana joints, you know. I said, man, I'm getting... I'm really getting whacked, man. This stuff is working like crazy, you know. And so we were just puffing away on these banana joints, you know. And uh, they packed up the equipment. We went all over Vancouver telling people bananas get you high, you know. We flew back home and we played in San Francisco, California Hall for a benefit for the legalized marijuana uh, people. And uh, we passed out about 150 banana joints that day, you know. And <laughs> told people, bananas get you high. And then next day in Berkeley, I went up on Telegraph Avenue with a pipe, you know, full of, and a big bag full of the dried banana stuff, you know. <laughs> Stuffed this pipe full and shoved it in all my friends' faces. They take a hit of this, man, that's a banana, you know. It gets you really high, you know. And they said, really, you know. And, so the next uh, day, I got up to go get our breakfast over at the co-op, and I went over, and the banana bin was empty, you know. There was... <laughs> so, so, wow, this is, this is weird, you know. And so I went over to Safeway, and couldn't find a, you couldn't find a banana in Berkeley that day. 
And the next day, the San Francisco Chronicle ran a big three-inch headline, Banana Turn On, a new hippie craze, you know. We thought, wow, man, this is, this is far out. And uh, we forgot about it. Uh, at, uh, now, uh, the, the bass player that plays on the new album, um, Stephen Barsotti, he's uh, 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 they have five brothers in the family. And at this particular time, he was, he's a, a Berkeley uh, guy. He's grown up in Berkeley. And at that particular time, see, his father was a judge, a Berkeley judge. And uh, he remembers that uh, at this particular time, all the brothers and the father and the mother went down in the basement with some banana joints. You know. Mom was freaking out because she was afraid everybody, everybody in the family would get so high, they'd be like outside, tripped out and crazy, and she'd be the only person because she refused to smoke a banana joint. You know. And his reputation would be ruined as a judge because he was smoking banana. You know. Okay. Anyway, we, we forgot about it. And, and uh, three months later, I saw... Way back in the Chronicle somewhere, a little article says, DEA smokes banana joint was the headline. And I thought, wow, what's this about, you know? So I said that the, in Washington, D.C., the Drug Enforcement Agency has a joint smoking machine. And uh, they rolled up a banana joint, puffed it through the machine, and it came out zero. It did nothing, you know? <laughs> so then I thought, hmm, I remembered the psychedelic water jar, you know? I thought, hey, what is this? So I went over to Chicken's House with this newspaper, and I said, hey, uh, you told us bananas get you high, man. Well, the DEA just smoked a banana joint. It doesn't do anything. We forgot about all that LSD that we took that night, and that was what was getting us high. And he said, oh, forget about it. It's not important. But I just figured out if you smoke a cigarette through a bell pepper, it gets you really stoned, you know? <laughs> Ah, uh, those were the days. <laughs> <laughs>